we had a uh, competition last weekend, and we ha we use Zoom a lot, but it's just it was flawless. But uh, I don't know what's going on today. So all right, dude, that looks like an awesome gym. I feel like I'm getting a tour as you're walking around, man. Yeah, so this is where we train the kids. I'm in front uh -huh. of a volcano, and uh -huh. then here's uh, a lot of the ninja rig here. I love it. And then what we is train the preschoolers. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a ball pit, a little warp wall, and little tunnels they climb up in, and right. So we have a lot of fun here. Tell me, tell me about it. Is it like American Ninja Warrior like gym setup? Yes, it is. Uh, actually, two of my kids will be on American Ninja Warrior tonight, uh, oh. as well as a couple other of our coaches. So awesome! Uh, what, when is that going to be? At NBC eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tonight. Cool. Well, I'll tonight, I'll, yeah. I'll push it out to my patient base for for some local community support. Either way, man, that's awesome. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. a lot of fun. Uh, three of my kids have been on. I've been on a couple times, and we've had uh, several others from our gym that have competed on American Ninja Warrior. Nice, man. That's cool. I love that show. I love that show. Where Where's your Where's your gym? I mean, I just my like one of my marketing people lined this call up, and I. Honestly, if it wasn't for the Snyders, I wouldn't know much about like the whole gym setup. And they told me a little bit about it. I've been patients for years, you know. Nice. So, so tell me about it. How'd you get into all this? A few years ago, we um, moved my wife's grandmother in, and uh -huh. uh, she spent the last year of her life in our home, a uh, bedridden, uh, completely bedridden for a year. Bathing, bathroom, food, uh, everything took place in bed. And so we don't watch TV, but we got cable for grandma. And my daughter, my daughters, and my wife would take care of her around, say yes to the dress and cupcake wars and shows they wanted to watch. And, right. and my wife was taking care of her. American Ninja Warrior came on, cool. and my wife said, "Look, you got to come in and watch this." And uh, so we ended up building obstacles in the backyard and inviting people to train with us. And it was fun to watch that community grow, and uh, to the point where we outgrew the yard and built out the gym. So. What a great, story. that's a, that's a great story. And my, um, I, I'm, it doesn't matter for the sake of this, but just to get to know me, I, my grandparents, I was a pharmacist. I used to work at the VA hospital and my grandparents who raised me, my grandfather had a stroke and spent the last 30 years of his life blind and paralyzed. Oh, and wow. I, I started looking at how he was being taken care of. And in, in the end, long story short, I decided to go back to school to help people before they ended up like my grandfather. So I went back to chiropractic yeah. school. My wife and I practice in St. Pete. And, nice. um, and so I, I, I'm part of an international nonprofit, and that's kind of how we got lined up to, to do a call today. But now that I'm watching what you're doing and everything else, I, I really just want to ask you questions about the gym and how many <laughs> you, know, sure. you do. It's awesome, man. You know? Yeah, it's, uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, my, my sons and I hand built everything in here, along with a lot of volunteer help and an, another guy that. Uh, we brought on full time before any a year before any of us got paid. <laughs> he was on our <laughs> roster. So, uh, how long have you? So, how long have you been open? Let me ask that question. And where uh, are you located? February of 2018 is when we opened the room I'm in now. Uh -huh. uh, we're in uh, Pinellas Park on Park Boulevard, across from uh, now what was Wagon Wheel Flea Market. So. Sweet. That's right. I'm off of 54th Avenue. I drive by that every day. So, like across from Wagon Wheel, there, there was like a security. And yeah, a, uh, auto, what is the uh, New Wave Auto? Is New Wave Auto, right. So it's right over there? Yep. Used, this building used to be Banquet Masters. Oh, I know where that is. Perfect, yeah. dude. All right, good. Well, I'll start. And then do you, do you have classes? How do you organize it? What do you do? Yeah, we have um, our, our biggest membership base is the kids' classes. Uh, right. But we do adult classes. We also do uh, parkour, we do kickboxing, we do boot camps. So a little bit of everything. We have uh, adult classes during the kids' classes, so okay. parents can check their kids in and go get a workout. Okay. And you know, we're we're a family place. Five of my kids work here, and um, so you know, we're we're big on families and just seeing families be able to come and and work out together. And otherwise, it's tough. You're taking the kids to soccer and dance and yeah. gymnastics and when do you have time for your workout? By the time you get home and get the kids to bed, you're, you're done. You're ready to start the next day. So I get it. So you have families that come like after work and the whole family will work out and train there together and stuff. That um, We had a lot of moms that were working out together pre COVID. So we had different mom hours where they'd put their kids in the class and they go work out. So we're working to rebuild that since, uh, since quarantine. But, um, 
but yeah, that's uh, that's how things were rolling. So. Well, that's awesome. I, I, I can't wait to tell my patient, like what I, I think what we're doing with most of these is we're going to put it on my Facebook page and then we'll promote it through the office that way. So we're recording it just so my patients get it, get to know about it. But I love it because I Very take cool. care of a lot of families and I don't think, I mean, I don't think anyone really knows something like this exists. Like, like, and so do you, you have, you have to go through certification classes to be able to use the gym. I mean, how does your system work? Like if I was going to show yeah. up, I have two boys, right? One is nine and one is six and, and they love that kind of stuff. So if I were to show up and do it, how's that work? So they would be in classes. Okay. Um, and the, um, the kids just start in a, a regular class divided by age group, but they're able to test into higher level classes. Once they test into our leveled system, then they, they, we move them over to the main gym where I'm at right now. Okay. And a lot of our obstacles are harder than what you'd encounter on American Ninja Warrior. They're, they're for the most part patterned after obstacles on the show, plus some that we've created, but they're at a greater difficulty level. So we, um, we, for the kids to test out, they have to show a skill, but also character. We have five character qualities. We teach them as a gym and they have to, uh, this, the beginning of every class is a character building story. So might center around honor puts you before me. And, you know, maybe uh, Desmond Doss who went into the military and um, without a weapon, he, he rescued tons of soldiers and right. put his life on the line to, to bring them to safety. So that would be an example of a character story. And so when, when they test, I interview them one-on-one. -on -one. They have to tell me the character qualities, the definitions, why it's important, how they apply it to their life. And so it's not easy for them. But uh, adult-wise, we have an intro to ninja class every Friday uh, at 7 o'clock. I coach that class. And we, we teach people how to play safely without breaking your arms or your face. Or, um, and, and once they take the intro class, then they come to the open gyms. We have a, a ninja classes as well where they can – run courses together and, and dial in some, some better skills on the obstacles, but most of the adults do the, uh, do the open gym. And it's a lot of fun. It's, we're, we're all about community and uh, people come because it's their tribe. You know, we're not the kind of gym where people stare in a mirror and, and lift weights for the kind of gym where people connect and make friends. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it a lot. And it's, it's functional fitness, like one Oh one, right? Because it's, it's functionally working there. I mean, literally they're using their own body weight and strength. I love that, man. That's beautiful. Absolutely. And it's not just like, you know, functional fitness, like going to a CrossFit gym where you're doing deadlifts or you're doing clean and jerks or something like you're actually holding your body weight and trying to crawl. And I mean, I love it. I mean, I actually love the concept of it. I don't think my shoulders will hold up uh, hanging from it. Cause just hanging and doing pull-ups, I can feel it, but I I'd love to bring my kids there and check it out. They would, they would eat that up. And I have a lot of patients I'm sure that would love that as alternative fitness methods. It's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Thank you. And the fact that we you got, go ahead. Oh, we relate it to the fitness to like, if you want to build your your speed and stamina you could have a coach on a track with a clipboard and a whistle and a stopwatch while you run wind sprints or you can play tag you're going to get the same workout just one's a whole lot more fun well this is more like playing tag so right yeah i love it i love it and, and i and i think the community atmosphere and the character building for the kids it's it's everything they could ask for so um i guess people can go on your i mean like Literally, when I when I got set up to do the call, I didn't know what I was walking into other than whatever. But all I want to do is help promote it. So people okay. can go on your website, right? They can check it yeah. out there. What's your website? Junglegym.ninja. Junglegym.ninja. You're right across from Pinellas Park. Um, what's your phone number if, so for some of my technically challenged people? Yeah, 727-350-2257. 2257. Okay, good. Perfect. And then, uh, cause I'll go back and we'll edit this video before I post it up there a little bit. And then cool. you're, you're open, um, seven days a week. I mean, that's a, that's a tough We're, Uh, so we have kids classes Monday through Thursday in the evening. We have some, uh, afternoon classes for targeted to homeschool families. Um, mm -hmm. and then Friday we do a lot of private lessons as well as the intro to ninja class Saturdays is uh birthday parties right now we'll be adding saturday classes eventually but um, cool and, and i assume the birthday parties are like in a different set spot because you've got people coming to those that aren't uh no when when someone comes in for a birthday party or they're the only group in the gym cool using cool that, so. what what else should i be asking you about the service you provide that will help you get more notability in the community yeah what well we I start not? we start at age three so our head preschool coach, he's the only midget to have competed on American Ninja Warrior, but he coaches a three and four year olds. And then, cool. um, yeah, it's all, all age groups. Um, nice. 
so I, what, where we haven't, I haven't showed you is our weight room where we do the, uh, the fitness classes for adults that for, but for many of them, Ninja is intimidating or they've got a lot of weight to lose. And that's the idea of hanging from a bar is, is not something that's uh, appealing to them. So they, that's where they do the, the boot camps and kickboxing and um, you know, the strength building, as you mentioned, your shoulders, that, that type of class would, would sure. strengthen the shoulders so they're able to, to handle some of the other uh, the aspects of Ninja. Nice. Well, I mean, that's, that's awesome, man. And I'm, I'm so excited that that is in my community that I can help promote. That's cool. I'm going to bring my, I'm going to, when we get off this call, I'm going to look it all up. I'm going to figure out how to get my kids over there just for fun. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah, man, that, that's great. Yeah. And then, you know, I guess cross promotion, if there's anyone that needs me as a chiropractor, yeah. I'm off of 54th Avenue in St. Pete. I've been practicing with my wife for almost 20 years. So awesome. But, but that's great. I, I, I have a lot of information about it. If there's anything else I need to know, please tell me and I'll edit it in the video. Anything else? Yeah, so behind me is our parkour area. Uh, oh, a lot of people have a misunderstanding of what parkour is, but parkour was created by a French firefighter mm -hmm. to be able to get any victim safely, quickly, and efficiently. So parkour is something you can do in any environment, whether it's a, a parking garage or a park. Uh, but that the elements are boxes and slope boxes and bars. And so you learn how to navigate your environment, getting over something, getting under, getting around. What's the quickest way to get to, uh, to, get to somewhere? Uh, so when, when this guy, uh, Raymond Bell, invented parkour, um, he taught it to his son, who was not really interested in rescuing people. He was a middle schooler, but he used the moves on the playground at school. That to, he taught his friends, and they started showing off and kind of made it a little more showy. And uh, so we teach kids how to do flips and so, a lot of the fun stuff too, but that's a, that's a fun program as well. Parkour. So, so you have the training for the adults. You've got the, the fitness classes for them. If they need to, you know, get weight to get in shape to actually do the ninja courses, you've got yeah. parkour there. That's uh that's, that's awesome. That looks like an awesome facility. It really does, man. I'm so, I had no idea what I was getting into before I jumped <laughs> on the call. And then as you were like trying to get your phone, I think you're on your phone at first working and you were walking through, I was like yeah. watching in the back and going, Oh man, that's way cool. You know, I see the big gorilla in the back and it's decorated. Yeah, we've like had some cool. awesome artists come in and, and it, I mean, we wanted a place that felt natural and organic. You know, you think of a lot of, you think of like an apartment um, complex gym where the, the, the equipment they would put in there or maybe in a, a um, hotel fitness room, you know, you think of like a, a bench, a chest press machine, you're, you're locked into just one pivot point, one motion. Right. Uh, and so you, you lose the benefit of building your stabilizer muscles, whereas right. something where you're climbing a rope or you're doing body weight fitness uh, or free weights. So our weight room is all free weights because then you build those stabilizers. You're burning a lot more calories. You're developing your muscles in a, in a healthy way and right. uh, building the strength that you need that's going to help with every life activity that you do. Right. It's awesome. No, I, I agree with that a hundred percent the way I train, the way I work out. And then if I, my patients, that's the way I teach them how to do it. I get it. And that, that's why it's uh, it's a good marriage between functional fitness and actually using it to do something, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect, man. It's beautiful. I have to come over and check it out myself. Yeah, yeah please do. Yeah, I would, I would love to. And then if any of um, what I'll do when I put this on Facebook, because it'll go out on my Facebook page as well, is um, if anyone that you know, and I don't know if you have anything I can offer, like my patients, like an introductory thing or something like that. Do you do anything like that to get people started? Um, well, we so the intro to Ninja class that we do on Friday nights at 7, uh, it's $25. And then with that, we give them two weeks of uh, open gym membership. Wow. Yeah, really cool. All right. That's great. Yeah. yeah I, I, that's awesome. So I'll, I'll help. So when we edit it, I'll put that in the tagline a little bit. And then so they can see that and I'll put it on Facebook too, that it's, it's $25. I'll, I'll review it. And then for the intro class and they get two weeks of open gym with that. that yeah. Correct? And okay, yep. Cool. And then for kids, they can do a drop in a drop in for a kid's class is $25. And that way, um, if the kids, if the kids like it, great. If not, well, they, you know, they just did a drop in, but the memberships are all month to month. So they, they auto renew every month. The kids membership with one class a week is 80 a month. 
Okay. And there's no cancellation. There's no annual fee, no sign up fee. It's not a contract. Yeah, it's not a contract. No, if, if, you, if your kid's happy doing Ninja, stay right. with it. If not, just let us know and it's no hassle at all. So Sweet, sweet. And then, and then just so that you get like a cross promotional thing because it's a win win. Like if any one of your clients comes in, watches this, and wants, it needs anything for any reason, normally like an exam and x rays is a couple hundred bucks and typically I do it for $20. And then, that, that 20 will cover the exam, the x-rays and a consultation with me or one of my doctors. But that $20, I'd like to give that back to some type of philanthropy. Is there philanthropy specifically you guys worked with at your gym? Um, at the gym, we've done, uh, the last one we worked with was Operation Underground Railroad where they work with kids that are in trafficking. So we just did a big fundraiser workout for that. Our goal was a thousand. We raised, I think, 21 or $2,200. So that was that was a lot of fun, uh, okay. but we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing more um, with them as well. Okay. So then I'll just, I'll do it for that. So if anyone awesome. is, needs care at all, I'll do it for a $20 donation. They'll pay me. And at the end of the time, I'll write a check back to your gym. We'll do it for the underground. Very That's cool. perfect. Yeah. I'd love yeah, to. That'd be great. Nice, man. Well, I hope to get to meet you in person. Um, yeah. We'll post this on Facebook and then I'll tag you in it. And you can post it back on yours as well. Absolutely. After, after it's loaded and, you know, we're all in community together. I'll keep you guys in my prayers. And I think the character thing is out of the park, man. So it's not just that you're working on character building. And then if you need anything from me, I'm right down the road. And well, my, my, my sons are Christian and Connor. My wife's name is Danielle. You'll see us walk around. So we'll come check it out for sure. My kids will they'll love that. Very I'm good. A little, yeah. Oh, you know, one more question. My oldest son is uh, on the autism spectrum. I mean, yeah. and do you have other kids that have special needs like that that are coming in there? We do. Um, I also, we're working on pro, a program specifically for, for kids that um, have special needs like that. One of our coaches, he's a, he's a special needs teacher okay. up in Tampa. And so we're, we're working on getting him down here on a more full-time basis. But yeah, we're looking at, uh, at setting up some programs specifically for that yeah so. perfect just because i'm involved in the community and that my son christian goes to lift academy and and so if there's any cross between that and then anything we can do to help so oh, good I, I'm, I'm glad to know that's going on there too jason it's nice to meet you again i'm chris and uh i'm sorry for the technical difficulties coming on but um <laughs> that's all right we got it squared away now it's we're good so if you need anything from us anything we can do to help you but we'll come by and check it out